news of the coronavirus is everywhere, from the front page of the newspaper to the playground where kids are playing with their friends. A lot of parents want to know how they can talk about this illness with their children in a way that provides reassurance and doesn't increase their worries. Here is some advice for talking to your children about the coronavirus. Don't be afraid to discuss the coronavirus. Most children have already heard about the virus or they've seen people wearing masks, so they know something is up and you should not be afraid to talk to them about it. Not talking about the coronavirus can actually be worse because kids can worry more if they think that you're avoiding talking to them. So use this as an opportunity to talk to them about the facts and to have a conversation without all of the emotion that they might be seeing in the news and hearing in school from other kids. We recommend that parents are the ones who consume the news and give their kids information that is factual and not so emotional or exaggerated. So use this as the opportunity to be the one to give kids factual information about what's going on with the coronavirus. Be developmentally appropriate. Do your best to not share too much information with your kids all at once because this can be overwhelming. What you really want to do is answer them honestly and clearly and give them the information that you have. It's okay if you don't have the answers to all of their questions right now. You really want to take your cues from your child and answer what they're asking you. We recommend that you invite your children to ask you questions and to tell you the kinds of things that they've been hearing, and then you can tell them if that's true or not so true. We definitely don't want to ask them too many questions because that can encourage more frightening fantasies. The point of the conversation is really more for them to come to you with questions and things they've heard and for you to correct misinformation and give them the facts at hand right now. It's very important for parents to deal with their own anxiety first. Many of us are feeling pretty anxious ourselves about the coronavirus, but what we want to do is make sure that we're calm before we're talking to our children about the virus. If you notice that you're feeling particularly anxious at a certain time, make sure you stop and feel more calm before you have this conversation with your children. It's important to be reassuring with our kids. Children tend to be pretty egocentric, so it's common for them to worry that they will contract this illness or that you or other important family members will get sick. It's helpful to reassure your child that they are not likely to get this illness. It's actually a pretty rare illness at this point, and we think, from what we know so far, that kids are not as likely to get it. Focus on what you're doing to stay safe and healthy. Kids feel empowered when they know what they can do to keep themselves safe, so that's why we're emphasizing things like washing their hands. And they should know that this illness is transmitted usually through coughing or touching contaminated surfaces. During these kinds of stressful periods, it's important to stick to your routine. We don't like uncertainty. It tends to make us anxious, so sticking to routines is a way to maintain some predictability during these times of crisis. This is particularly important if your child's school or daycare shuts down. Make sure you're taking care of the basics just like you would over spring break or a regular summer vacation. Structured days with regular meal times and bedtimes are a really important way to maintain routines and predictability during this time. Something that's very important is that you keep talking, especially as we learn new information about this illness. Tell your kids that you will continue to inform them of any new information that you learn and that you want to keep the lines of communication open so this is not just a one-time conversation and tell them, even though I don't know the answer to this question right now, as soon as I have more information, mom or dad will definitely get back to you and let you know the answer to this. 